There sure is a lot going on around here. To hear all about that and my quick trip to the hospital this morning, stay tuned right after this. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Today is Wednesday, September 28th. And yeah, I just made a quick trip to the hospital. I had one of those ECGs. I think that's it. Echocardiogram. The gal that was doing the test, she seemed pretty sharp, but, uh, you know, obviously the doctor has to evaluate the test, but from what I could get out of her, she seemed to think everything looked okay. So that's all I know right now. We'll have to wait on the doctor's report before I know. And if you're wondering why I went in for that, uh, then you've probably missed my vlog from about a month ago where I had to cancel the, uh, the shop talk on that Friday because I had that sweating, uh, dizzy, just crazy episode that lasted a couple hours. I've already had an EKG and that turned out fine. So this was just a, a safety check, I guess you'd say. Yeah, and there's a whole lot more going on around here. I did get the sides made yesterday for my dump truck. So take a look at this. So there's what the sideboard looks like. It's, uh, the, the front board was already on there and you can see it's got a big crack in it. It's been on there for quite a while. But uh, these are these sideboards is what I put on yesterday. Now these are oak. They're a full one inch thick, um, and these are cedar. Now the cedar is much softer, but that's all I had that would fit these holes fairly good. Uh, I didn't have anything thick enough, uh, so I just made those out of cedar and then just screwed the uh, oak to it. That oak is super hard, so the I'm not worried about the uh, oak breaking, but the the cedar posts could snap off if I would accidentally hit them with the bobcat. Speaking of the bobcat, look over here. I got another problem. Actually, it's functioning sort of okay. And I say sort of okay. And that's because these two cylinders here, these are the tilt cylinders. They're the ones that tilt the bucket forward up and down like this. In other words, if you want to dump the load out of the bucket, those cylinders control that. And they are not holding pressure very well. I rebuilt them about six months ago or so, and uh, they have worked up to now. But even after I rebuilt them, I could tell they weren't at full capacity. Uh, they're leaking off. And, and so right now, if you, if you tilt the bucket up, it'll stay up for just a few seconds and it just falls down on its own. So I've ordered two new cylinders. That's going to cost a few bucks. Uh, I think from the factory, they'd probably be at least a thousand dollars a piece. I bought aftermarket ones and I got them for about, for a little under $900 for the two. So I'm going to put those on. I'm not going to rebuild them again because I just don't see much point in rebuilding them if they're not going to last. Yeah, so in addition to the uh, sideboards I put on the dump truck, I'm going to have to put new tilt cylinders on that uh, T300 Bobcat. That'll be a fun job. <laughs> it just never stops. Uh, but if you use equipment heavily, and of course I bought that used anyway, so those cylinders had already been used a lot, and I haven't uh, let them rest very much either. <laughs> so... They've served their purpose and we're going to put new ones on there and I should be good to go again for quite a while. Well, that's about it on the miscellaneous topics. Back to the guitar. Here's what it looks like this morning. And uh, I'll just go ahead and take these braces off right on camera. And that's the, uh, that was to just try to line it up, that big brace across there. And it did not really want to be lined up, I can tell you that. <laughs> And quite honestly, it's not a perfect alignment job, but it'll have to do, and it's good enough for a wall hanger, which is really all this is going to be. Uh, he doesn't want it to play it. He just wants it to preserve it for a family memento, you know. But that got her back together. Solid. Now, I don't hear anything. Nothing vibrating. It's just 
sounds solid. Now that actually looks pretty good. Let's just turn the camera down here and we'll look at the neck angle and see if it looks like it would be playable. Well, that doesn't look too terribly bad uh, compared to where we were with this thing. This is the bridge that was on it. And you can see it's still not gonna quite work. Um, you know, it's, but it's close. I think I can cut this down and make this thing playable. You know, it doesn't really matter at this point if it's cut down a little bit more than it should be. Um, but I do think we can kind of work with that. It's not the perfect solution, but it's what we have. And we're not gonna go deeper into it than that. So I guess today I'll be setting this baby up to see if we can make it make a noise. Referring back to the recent auction, I got an email from one of the uh, auction winners. I'll just say his name is Wayne. And he, he says, Jerry, I received my dulcimer yesterday, September 27th. It arrived in perfect condition and it's an instrument I'll cherish hopefully for many years. A local church formed a dulcimer group for beginners to pros and I'll be joining it. When you talk to Kent Miller, tell him his dulcimer is in good hands and I feel very fortunate to own it. I know the auction was a lot of work on your part, but I'm a firm believer in what goes around comes around, good or bad. I still enjoy your videos daily. Thanks again. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for that letter, Wayne. I appreciate it. Uh, those dulcimers were really nice dulcimers that, you know, as dulcimers go, I'm not a fan of dulcimers, as you know. I'm not going to try to talk out of both sides of my mouth. But as dulcimers go, they were very nice dulcimers. That's about all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>